Now, while all that may sound well and good, based on the administration's history of indifference to the facts, its culture of corruption, how can we take that at face value? Well, we'll leave it to the White House Press Secretary, Jay Carney, to keep all of us questioning, because when he was asked about the White House staff email accounts, he, not surprisingly, just refused to answer. Watch this. The White House, uh, like Congress, which I'm sure will be part of any story you do on this, is not subject to FOIA. Uh, but the, the point is, well, I'm not going to get into people's individual email addresses. Here with reaction to that, much more, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator, good to see you. Welcome back. Good to be with you, Sean. Your reaction to all that? Well, you know, I've been kind of disappointed because I honestly, there were certain aspects of President Obama that I wanted to like, and I mean this with all sincerity. I mean, I wanted to see a president who was truly liberal, who I couldn't have voted for, but I want to see a good liberal who would defend the First Amendment, who would defend transparency, who wouldn't be targeting the press or targeting political enemies. So really defending the First Amendment, defending the Fourth Amendment, and now we have this, this whole culture of of corruption where uh, we've got these secret email accounts and I mean for example it would be a problem if they're communicating with lobbyists secretly if they're saying to certain people that might make money off of the health care this is what brought down Clinton's health care plan in 1994 is they found out the secret meetings involve people who were going to make money off of the reform so people People make money in all ways in government, so that's why we want to know who they're talking to, and it should be open to the public. Are you saying that he is not defending certain amendments, and if not specifically, which ones do you think he's, he's not defending? Well, you know, I think with regard to the First Amendment in particular, because the freedom of the press, the press doesn't always get it right. The press can be on the right or the left or in the middle, but they're searching out news to make the rest of us accountable. And so I think when he targets AP reporters or a Fox News reporter, particularly the way he did it, he didn't go to a judge. He did in one case, and I think the judge made a grievous error, which shows you that even a judge can make an error, but he did go to a judge. But in the AP case, I think they had issued an administrative subpoena, which is not really a warrant, and they went after these records. I think in neither the Fox case nor the AP case, was there any reason to go after the media? If someone is leaking information, if you're in government, go after the leaker. That's the one breaking the law. Printing the news is not breaking a law. And you'll notice they never went after the media, but they did tell the judge that they were treating the Fox News reporter, James Rosen, as complicit. See, this is the danger because what if they said he was complicit, and I'm not saying he is or anybody, but let's say they say a reporter's complicit to terrorism. Under current day law, you could be sent to Guantanamo Bay without a trial. This is a president who's supposed to be a progressive, defend our civil liberties, who signed a law saying that you could be sent to Guantanamo Bay, an American citizen, without a charge or trial. So I am disappointed in the All president, right. and I think many people on the left are. Well, let's listen to the president in his own words talking about the importance of, of FOIA, Freedom of Information Act, and transparency in government. Here's what the promises that he made. Information will not be withheld just because I say so. Let me say it as simply as I can. Transparency and the rule of law will be the touchstones of this presidency. Do you, do you think that these private email accounts live up to that standard, or do, maybe do you think that they were designed to avoid FOIA requests? Well, here's the thing. When I hear the president speak and what he just said, if I were sitting in the audience, I would stand up and cheer because what he's saying sounds so great. What he said recently about if an American were targeted for attack, they would get due process. But he, he thinks due process is him making a decision and not a judge or not a jury. So when he says that, I'm not sure he really means this. And I think what's happening is these constellation of scandals, one after another, Benghazi, the IRS, the reporters that he's targeted, I guess he's losing, and to me, he's losing that moral authority, the moral authority to lead the nation. And even though he sounds so great, and I want to believe in what he says, He's losing yeah. that believability to the American public. Before